What's up guys and girls? I just want to uh, show you what and how I write about in my notebook every single night with my red light and uh, how to use a notebook properly. Okay, so a couple things. First, don't use a pen. I used to use a pen. I used to have like, you know, these pens and I don't use these pens anymore because if I'm writing in my notebook like like this and I have it like my these, these are my knees right here, right? They're up like a, like a mountain. If I put the book here and I'm writing lots, well, what ends up happening is the ink runs down the pen and it, it starts to fade. And I have to keep like going like this and then writing and I have to try and like write like that. So it's a pain in the butt. The ink is not the gravity doesn't do well with pens like this. So what you want to use instead is a mechanical Use a mechanical pencil instead, okay? Mechanical pencils are freaking great because they last forever and uh, they're very legible. Like, look at this. Hello. It looks just... Why is my camera so crappy? It looks just as good as the pen, right? So use a mechanical pencil. That's tip number one. That way you can write in any position that you like. Tip number two is... Don't do what I used to do, which is, these are some of my older entries in this older notebook I found, but don't just use one page. Like, see, I was using this page, but not this page. And then I would like, let's just flip to another page. I would use this page, but not that page. Really dumb. It's a really waste of a notebook. I was going through notebooks way too fast. Now what I do is, as you can see, I use both sides of the page, okay? You get twice as much out of your notebook. And especially if you're using a mechanical pen, it's not going to go through. It's not going to ruin the other side of the page. So you're fine. Um, just use both sides of the notebook. The second thing you want to realize, and I probably should talk about this at the start of the video here, is you want to write in this every single night. doesn't matter what notebook you have. This happens to be a ClickFunnels notebook. But you want to write in this every single night because, as you see, i got a lot of stuff written on each page here. And... If I don't get it out on paper, then it's all in my head. If you don't get it out on paper, it's all in your head. And I've had some of my best business ideas. The reason I'm able to do what I do now is because I've written it out on paper. I've gotten everything out of my head on paper. And once I read it all out, I'm like, wow, that was all in my head before. Imagine if it just stayed in my head. It'd be useless. I would totally forget about it by the next morning. So what I end up doing now is I write out my best ideas at, at the moment. But my best idea is every night, I write out what I got to do the following day. I write it out every single night in here. I'm like, I go into CEO mode and I'm like, okay, what does Ted Carr need to do tomorrow to make his business more successful, to make his life so much better? And then I wake up and I go into employee mode and I execute on whatever I wrote down. I don't decide what I'm going to do in the morning. I don't wake up and be like, hmm, what am I going to do today? That is like, garbage that's the garbage way of going about life you want to act in the morning like an employee in the evening time when you're in bed or sometime in the evening at least you don't have to do it in bed but sometime in the evening you want to plan out like a boss what you're going to do the following day okay go to bed like a boss and wake up like an employee and uh you will find yourself getting so much more done than ever before and the main thing i write out in this book is my cool ideas i have in the moment and I also write out what I got to do, the, my most important things, my MIT, okay? And I wake up and I execute. I don't question it. I don't wake up and, and, and wing it. Wait, waking up and winging it is not a strategy for success. Waking up and falling, sticking to the list, that's a strategy for success. So that's what I do every single night. And it's by far the most productive habit of my life because it, uh, it just allows me to to just wake up and execute, wake up and execute without decision-making fatigue. In the morning, you're not the clearest. Your brain's actually kind of dumb first thing in the morning. You're very creative, but you're not really like, you don't really have logical, you don't, you don't, you don't have the best logic first thing in the morning. Your brain's kind of you know half asleep. So instead of waking up and actually making a logical decision of what to do, you want to wake up and just go into creative mode and create whatever you've set up for yourself to create the night before, okay? So that's, uh, that's how I do it at least. Feel free to try it for yourself. It works very, very well. Again, um, mechanical pencil. Use both sides of the pages in, in, in your notebook and do this every single night because if you don't get it on paper, it's all going to be in your head. If you do this exercise once, you'll realize all the stuff you've had in your head that whole time. And as you're writing, more ideas keep coming out and coming out and coming out and coming out. So 
Uh, if you don't think you have a lot of ideas, just start writing and watch what pours out. Okay? And typically you can write out like the person you got to get back to tomorrow or the thing you got to send or the thing you got to create or the email that you have to write or the, the webinar that you got to work on or um, something that you have to change in your business or some habits that you have to add or a video that you want to make, whatever. But get the ideas out on paper because if they're in your head, they're going to die there and they're never going to see the light of day. So that's the video for today. Peace out. Much love. Adios. See you tomorrow.